Which of the 6,378 cars that comprise the New York City subway system have one of these? The emergency brake. Making each and every ride an opportunity to bring a train to a screeching halt. I'm going to touch it. The article is about the emergency brake and the confusion as to when to pull it. Hopefully, this movie will clarify things. The Emergency Break, a constructive analysis. Step one, define emergency break. A break to use in an emergency. Step two, Define emergency, fire, medical, and police. Step three, define irony. The first rule is do not pull the emergency brake. An event that seems deliberately contrary to what one expects. When do you think it's okay to pull the emergency brake? No kid, you definitely do not want to pull the emergency brake if someone is throwing up. This would strand you in the subway car with the vomit in between stations. Fire? I, I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> That's probably the best answer. No, fire is not the best answer. Hit the brakes when there's a fire and you'll burn in the tunnels. When is it appropriate to pull the emergency brake? Uh, there's a violent act that's going on. Violence is one of the worst reasons to pull the emergency brake. As you'd be trapped in the subway car with the bad guys. This is Richard. He's our test dummy. Shortly after shooting this scene, policemen came to arrest me for throwing a fake baby on the subway tracks. Eventually they let me go. No hard feelings. So I asked them, when is it okay to pull the emergency brake? And they explained the golden rule. Only use the emergency brake when you're in the station. Like if a bad dad lets go of a stroller. or someone gets their arm stuck in the door. Or if there's a baby sitting way too close to the platform. It's not that complicated, really. The solution is in new signage. Simple easy to understand. Use the emergency brake cord only when the motion of the subway presents an imminent danger to life and limb. 